Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will be sharing from my own experiences things that I think you should keep in mind if you are planning on taking a job at a startup as an artificial intelligence or machine learning engineer. I'll go over some pros and cons or challenges of working in this exciting but challenging field. As someone who took a job at a startup right out of grad school, I can tell you that there's a lot to consider, especially if you're earlier on in your career. So let's get started. First, the pros. Working as an AI or ML engineer at a startup can be an incredibly rewarding experience. And one of the biggest advantages of working in this type of environment is that you have the opportunity to gain a really deep understanding of the entire machine learning pipeline. Unlike at a lot of larger companies where engineers are often siloed into specific roles, at a startup, you may get to be involved in every step of the process, from collecting and cleaning data to deploying and monitoring the models in production. And this exposure to the full machine learning pipeline can help you develop a more holistic understanding of the field and make you a more versatile and valuable engineer. For example, you might be responsible for designing and implementing data pipelines that collect and process data from various sources. At larger companies, sometimes you can focus more on the modeling and other teams can help you with collecting and cleaning the data. But if you have to do that in order to train your models, you will definitely gain a really deep understanding of not only the data pipeline, but also the data itself, which leads me to my other pro, which is if you are the one collecting the data, you will understand the data on a much more intimate level, which will actually help you when it comes to training and evaluating and understanding the models that are trained on that data. At larger companies, as I mentioned, data collection and pre-processing are often handled by dedicated teams, meaning that engineers may not have as much direct interaction with the data. At a startup, you will probably be responsible for collecting and processing the data yourself, which can help you better understand the nuances of the data and make more informed decisions about how to use it to actually train your models. You'll be able to see patterns in the data and in how the models perform that others might miss. And this kind of understanding is hard to gain when you're working with like pre-existing data sets. It can really give you an advantage when it comes to building models that are both accurate and effective. Now let's get into some of the more challenging aspects of working in a startup environment as an AI or ML engineer. The first one is sort of just a different perspective of the pros, but it's a big one. One of the biggest challenges of working as an AI or ML engineer at a startup is that you may not be spending as much time on actual machine learning tasks as you would like, because you often have to spend a lot of time setting up the infrastructure and data pipelines that are necessary for training and evaluating your models. While these tasks are crucial in any ML project, they can be really time consuming and tedious, and they could take away from what you might consider to be more interesting work, which is actually building and improving models. Setting up the infrastructure for machine learning can involve a lot of different tasks, from selecting the right hardware and software to configuring networks and servers. So you may need to spend a lot of time just researching and testing different tools and technologies to find ones that work best for your specific needs, which can be frustrating. And at least for me personally, is not what I enjoy doing. Building data pipelines is also a lot of work because you need to make sure that the data you are using is clean, properly labeled, and easily accessible to your models. In some cases, you may even need to manually go collect data yourself, which to me is just so tedious and annoying. Another thing is that you may also be responsible for integrating data from a variety of sources, which can be really challenging if the data is in very different formats. Whereas at a larger company, if you have teams that are dedicated to collecting and processing your data, then you really don't have to worry about this. Basically, setting up infrastructure and data pipelines is an essential part of any AI or ML project, but it can be a really frustrating and time-consuming process that you will likely have to do yourself at a startup. It can definitely take away from the more interesting work of training and evaluating models, but if you are able to build a solid infrastructure and data pipeline, you will be in a better position to build and improve your models over time. So the work definitely is worth the effort and can be rewarding because you're building the foundation for future machine learning projects at your company. 
Another significant challenge of working as an AI or ML engineer at a startup is dealing with resource constraints when training models. Unlike larger tech companies, startups may not have the same level of resources to invest in expensive hardware and cloud computing services, which means that you may have to work with limited resources, which makes it a lot harder to train models effectively and to iterate quickly. To deal with these resource constraints, you may need to be able to understand the different machine types you want to use and the specific requirements of your models. Like for example, you may need to know how many GPUs or CPUs you require to train a specific model and how much these resources will cost in actual dollars. You may also need to be familiar with cloud computing services like AWS, Google Cloud, which can provide scalable computing resources at lower cost than purchasing and maintaining hardware. Dealing with resource constraints can be particularly frustrating for AI or ML engineers, and it's something I've still faced at larger companies, but from my experience, it's so much worse at startups. These types of problems especially can slow down how quickly you can iterate and even sometimes limit the scope of what you can actually achieve. You may need to prioritize certain tasks over others based on the resources that are available, and you may need to be prepared to make trade-offs between accuracy, speed, and cost, which again, you still have to consider at larger companies, but it's even more crucial at smaller companies with fewer resources. You can definitely turn this into a pro if you consider the creativity and planning skills you could develop, and you'll likely have to learn how to optimize your code and use different like data augmentation techniques to generate more training data, and you will definitely learn how to collaborate with others and share resources and expertise, so the technical and professional growth you might be able to gain could be invaluable. The third challenge is related to the second, and it's that AI and ML engineers at startups usually have to work with much smaller data sets. Large tech companies have access to massive amounts of data, which they can use to train and refine their models. But startups, on the other hand, often have to work with limited amounts of data, which can make it really difficult to easily train complex models. In a lot of cases, startups need to find creative methods to make the most out of the data that they have. Even when startups can collect a good amount of data, data quality can still be a major issue, and you'll end up spending a lot of time cleaning and pre-processing the data. Cleaning and pre-processing data is such an important step in the machine learning pipeline, but it can be so time consuming and frustrating. And data can become quickly outdated or the business priorities might change, meaning that your data that you spent so much time gathering and that you thought was useful may no longer be relevant. A fourth challenge is that as a startup grows, engineers will need to constantly evaluate and reevaluate the infrastructure and processes that they have in place to ensure that they can scale effectively, which requires a lot of planning and foresight. And it can be difficult to strike the right balance between building for the future and meeting the current needs of the business. I think that anyone working at a startup needs to know how to pivot really quickly in response to changes in the market or shifts in customer demand. And if a startup decides to change direction or pivot to a different product or market, it can be particularly frustrating for ML engineers because the data and models that you've already spent so long developing may no longer be relevant. So you might have to start from scratch or make significant modifications to a lot of your existing work, which can be really demotivating, especially if you've already invested a lot of time and effort into your project. And my last challenge or con is that at a startup, your team might not have a very deep bench of AI or ML experts. This may be especially important to consider if you're new to the field and you don't have the experience or intuition that comes with working with a variety of machine learning projects. Without a lot of senior teammates, you might find yourself spending a lot of time like doing research, reading papers, and experimenting on your own. And I know for me personally, I've learned the most when I could sit down with other people and really look at the data and training curves and the results to figure out why the model is or isn't having trouble learning or why the model performs the way it does in certain scenarios. It's so helpful to have technical mentors, and I think it's easier to find and access them at larger companies. On the other hand, if you are someone who loves to learn by doing, you could develop a lot of these intuitions on your own by working in a startup environment. 
you'll probably have a lot more responsibility earlier on, which means you'll get to make more decisions and see more of the pipeline firsthand. You'll have to learn how to troubleshoot on your own. And because startups are often more agile than large companies, you might get to work on a wider variety of projects and technologies than you would in a more specialized role at a bigger company. With that being said, there are some downsides to being a self-taught expert. Without the benefit of working with more experienced colleagues, you might develop bad habits or make incorrect assumptions. And if you don't have access to resources like online courses or conferences or workshops, you might not be able to keep up with the latest developments in the field. So just to close out, whether you are a seasoned ML expert or just starting out in the field, there are a lot of things to consider when you're trying to decide whether to join a larger company or a smaller startup. I know I talked a lot about the challenges of working at a startup, but you can also develop both technically and professionally very quickly in a startup environment. And ultimately, the decision will depend on your individual goals, skills, and priorities. Machine learning is an exciting and rapidly evolving field, and there are so many opportunities to work on cool projects. So if you're considering working at a startup, don't be afraid to take the leap and give it a try. It could be the best career decision you ever make. So that'll conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the like button. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Of course, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me, and I will see you in the next video. Oh boy.